Get a pile of toast. We're crazy. <laughs> no, no, there's, there's an ice cream place over at Treasure Island. No, no. No, we make our own. Oh, Nikki, you can help. We're going to need about, um, ten pounds of crushed ice. You've got an ice crusher, right? Well, we got Dwight's butt and two phone books. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they're, they're nice. So nice. After all those horrible nights out with Mary and Jupiter, we finally found some nice, normal friends that we can just stay home and play Scrabble with. Were we looking for that? <laughs> oh, God, could they be any more boring? <laughs> Not without surgery, no. Well, the boring part is the stay-at-home part. So we need to get them out on the town. Loosen them up a little bit. Hmm? And look at that, honey. It's one of those old-fashioned hand crank kinds. Yeah, a lot of people go in for those electric ice cream makers. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not as much fun and way too quick. That's what's wrong with a lot of modern stuff. If they had a hand crank microwave, I'd buy it. <laughs> You're teasing us, aren't yes, you? Yes, we're teasing you. You guys need get out. So how about if we all go out tomorrow night? Yeah, we can go see Nikki's show and then go dancing or something. I don't know. Uh, we're not really the nightlife people. Well, you know what? Maybe just this once. Will we be back by ten? <laughs> Kidding. What are we, nerds? We're good to ten thirty. <laughs> Stick Reed and Roy after the show? Uh, you and Jupiter aren't gonna bring paintball guns into a drive-by on the White Tigers, are you? <laughs> are you in or out? Um, actually, we have plans. Yeah? What, what are you doing? Uh, we're gonna go see Dwight's mom again. She's still sick. Yeah. Huh. Well, I know how you feel about your mother-in-law, so, um, call me if you need a smother pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, big night. Showroom's packed. Really? Yeah, all the way to the third row. Beyond that, it's just chairs on tables. Beyond that, the desert itself. Make you proud. You know what? We're not big on going out, but this is really exciting. <laughs> this is the best since Branson. Dwight, you should have seen the Osmonds. They've rocked. Hey, okay, did the Osmonds ever not rock? <laughs> Nikki is so lucky. Dance is one of the most beautiful forms of artistic expression. We clog. We had a clog wedding. The other kids at Oral Roberts thought we were nuts. <laughs> or what? Me and Lucifer. Tommy, there's an inspector here to see you. Tell him I'm making a call. I ain't got to have no... Hi, Ken and Alice. Listen, I'm hoping against hope that you guys weren't offended by the show last night. Please tell me that you ran out because of the shrimp cocktail. <laughs> I should have warned you. It's not really flown in daily. And it's not really shrimp. It's trout jerky. <laughs> Okay. You know, honey, their car is here. I think they're ducking our calls. Well, they obviously hated the show, and they never want to see us again. Well, who knew they were religious? I mean, we're playing Scrabble, and they misspelled seminary. They put down seminary. <laughs> we never should have taken them to the show. You know, those poor, sweet people are probably hiding in their apartment all day, afraid to come to the door. All right. Check this out. 
This was the scene earlier today outside the Golden Calf Casino, where protesters from the group Citizens for a Moral America called for the closure of the casino stage show, which they described as a cesspool of moral depravity. <laughs> now look at that. Suddenly they can spell cesspool. <laughs> Come on, Al. We know you're in there. Yeah, we can smell you baking. Hello, Dwight. Nikki. Hi, guys. Hey, we're on our way to a witch burning. We were hoping you could bring the ice cream. And we had no choice. That show of yours is tasteless and sacrilegious. It glorifies Satan. Someone needs to stand up to garbage like that and say, this is morally offensive. And who are you to say what's morally offensive? I'm the regional director of the Citizens for a Moral America. <laughs> Tuesdays. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us what you'd do when we invited you to Nikki's show? Why didn't you tell us that Nikki was going to be dressed as a schoolgirl dancing with a half-naked Satan? <laughs> Please, that was a nearly as offensive as last week's show, Diddler on the Roof. <laughs> Believe me, one day you're going to thank us. You're too good to work in a show like that. She is not. 